Hi everyone, welcome to another video of AML Math. Today, I'm going to introduce the angle at the center theorem. The angle at the center theorem is a basic theorem when doing circular geometry. Although a lot of difficult problems can be solved by using the simple theorem. First of all, this theorem is not exactly called angle at the center theorem, but it is about the angle at the center and angle at the circumference. I can't find an accurate name for this theorem, but people sometimes call this theorem central angle theorem. But I'm just going to call it angle at the center theorem for today. So what is the angle at the center theorem? The theorem basically states that if an arc substands an angle at the center from a, off a circle and at the circumference, then the angle at the center is twice the size of the angle at the circumference. It sounds very confusing, but it basically states that in this diagram, angle CAD is twice as big as angle CBD. So why is this? If we name angle ACB equals to X, and we also know that AC equals to AB because both of them are the radius, we can know that angle ACB equals the angle CBA, and both of them equals to X. If we name angle ADB equals to Y, we know that AD equals to AB because both of them are radius, so angle ADB equals to angle ABD, and both of them equals to Y. Because the sum of the internal angle of the quadrilateral equals to 360 no matter if it's convex or not. So in the quadrilateral, C, B, D, A, even though it's not convex, its internal angle also sum up, sum up to 360, which means that angle A, C, B plus angle C, B, D plus angle B, D, A and plus angle CAD, the one that is bigger than 180, sum up to 360. And this equation can give us that the angle CAD, the one that's bigger than 180, can equals to 360, sorry, this one, 360 minus angle ACB minus angle CBD minus angle BDA. We know that angle CBD is split into two, which is C, B, A plus D, B, A. So we can have that ang uh, 360 of um, angle A, C, D equals to 360 minus angle A, C, B, which remains the same from the top, minus angle C, B, A minus angle D, B, A. And these two is angle C, B, D and minus angle B, D, A, which is same from the top. We know that angle A, C, B, if you look at this graph, it's x, and angle CBA is also x. Angle DBA is y, and angle BDA is y. So this equation can simplify to 360 degrees minus 2x minus 2y. We know that um, angle CAD, that the one that's bigger than 180, add the one that is smaller than 180, and these two can sum up to 360. So this gives us the equation angle CAD, the one that is smaller than 180, equals to 360 minus the one that's bigger than 180. We know that the one bigger than 180 has the equation of 360 minus 2x minus 2y. So if we plug it in, we have 360 degrees minus bracket 360 degrees minus 2x minus 2y, and if we simplify this, we have 2x plus 2y. We know that angle C, B, sorry, I write a really bad C there, C, B, D equals to x plus y since it equals to angle C, B, A plus angle B, D, uh, D, B, A. And we also know that angle C, A, D equals to 2x plus 2y. And we can easily see that x plus y times 2 
equals to 2x plus 2y. Which is equals to 2 angle CVD. So this gives us the equation that 2 angle CVD equals to angle CAD. And we have proven the angle at the center theorem. So this is this week's math proof. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.